Hey folks, how y'all doing today? This is SKS starting a new Let's Play series. Now I've been watching a few others on the internet and I love them and I just thought I'd start my own series. Hope you appreciate it. I'm going to start with a game I played when I was little. Let's play Chippendales Rescue Rangers. I know a lot of you watched the cartoon when you was little and I'm sure you played the game. Uh, we're going to play it through and see how it works. Of course I'm going to do one player. We have to go with Dale. It's always fun that way. Of course you got the whole gang here. Everything's going on. Nobody really cares about the plots like the show. For some reason they sweat when they pick up apples, they throw boxes, they pick up flowers. Who knows why they do. Uh, the game is basically simple. You're on a mission and you're trying to, right now the story mode is you're trying to find a kitty cat and save it and blah blah blah. Why chipmunks would want to save a cat? Not really figured that out yet. Because mostly if a chipmunk gets near a cat, you know what the cat's going to do with it. But. We're going to see, we're going to play a few games, uh, hopefully on down the line you'll let me know what you want me to play after this one. This game won't take too many episodes to get through, but we're going to go through it and see what happens. Hopefully I won't do anything too stupid. Uh, I've been known to go too fast on this game and get killed. Now I will admit though that I have not played it, as you can tell, for a long, long, long number of years. So. Hopefully I won't die too much. Uh, a lot of people will film Let's Plays and they'll go back and record over it and add sound. Not me. When I mess up, you're going to know it. My voice will change and I will let loose a few things. It goes with uh, being a teacher and a bartender. Yeah, what a combination. But uh, we'll see. We got Zipper here, if anybody remembers him. The little fly that had mega strength for some reason. He must be a horse fly or something like that. I don't know. As long as he doesn't smell like crap, but they did have the one big fat mouse that ate cheese all the time, so you know he farted his ass full. Uh, let's go on up here. For some reason, they're walking on lines. Reminds me of a story once. I don't think it was a chipmunk, but it uh, probably was a squirrel. I remember a day I'd come home from high school and I'd turn on this back road and there was power lines coming across it, and I'd always notice a squirrel running across. Well, one day I looked up and I didn't see the squirrel running across the lines. Well, I drove a little Mustang back then, and, well, let's just say the next thing I noticed was the squirrel running across the road, and the next thing I heard was a thump. Yep, that poor squirrel didn't seem to make it. <laughs> but as we continue on the level, which, another annoying thing about this game is if you die, it shoots you way back. I mean, I think right now it might shoot you back to the start of the entire level, which would really annoy the hell out of me. Uh, here's your puzzle. Uh, you gotta stack these on top of each other, nothing hard. Here's what I always liked about this game. Of course, Dale, he knocks the shit out of himself, and it's just hilarious. Uh, going back to the, uh, the TV series, I know I was a little kid when I watched it, but for some reason it was just one of those shows that just mesmerized me. I guess it's kind of like Dora for kids nowadays. Uh, here's your cameo appearance in the first level, Monterey Jack. Uh, I think he was addicted to cheese like most people are addicted to meth nowadays. And notice this, he just, I don't... There's, I don't know. Here's your typical boss in the game. You get a red ball. Throw it up. Don't knock yourself crazy. I say that because if you do, you're going to get shocked. I'll show you what it looks like here. It's kind of the same thing. But I didn't take any damage. A lot of people don't know that. You can actually use that on some of the harder bosses if you want to call them that. Most of them, you're just throwing stuff around. Even when you come up to Fat Cat himself, which we'll see a picture of him in a minute. And I, I totally goof that one. But as you can see, easy boss, nothing short level bonus stage just go through here and you try to find the one up I think I've got two before but it just depends here's fat cat he's like I tricked you blah 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 why does a cat wanna you know if he's such a powerful cat why does he waste his time with these four people go to a different city or something I mean really but he lured them out he's caught gadget which is the female mouse for some reason she hangs out with chipmunks and another fat rat. And there's a story behind it, but nobody really cares right now. Going on through. But a lot of people don't know on Chip and Dale, they were actually based loosely on somebody else. Uh, just to go back to the map here, you can see there's lots of zones. I'll probably put one more level in. I'm going to go to B because it's like the bar stage. For some reason, it's a bar restaurant, which is kind of reminds me of work sometimes. But uh, Chip and Dale was actually not cast in the show originally. They actually brought out a, it was a fedora wearing Indiana Jones clone, some other thing. And then uh, Michael Eisner said he didn't like the idea. He wanted to establish it. So he brought in Chip, who would be like Indiana Jones, which is why he wears the fedora and the brown jacket. And then Dale was brought in because he was like Tom Selleck in Magnum P.I., which is kind of funny. Uh, I kind of hold a close relationship. My middle name actually comes from Magnum P.I., so if any of you viewers can figure that one out... And, 
we'll see if there's a prize involved. <laughs> prize is, uh, I say you're right. So, we'll see if anybody catches that. Probably not. Nobody cares at this point. But we're going to move quickly through level 2. It's got more mechanical rats. Uh, these bears, they just shoot shit out for some reason to piss the hell out of me. Uh, they're just like the little bastard kids who were beat when they were little. I don't know why. Who, I mean, who comes out of nowhere and just shoots green shit at you? Here we got the water. Just jump on this. Kind of slow. This level is pretty fun, though. All the levels in here are pretty clever uh, as you get longer into the game. I'm not going to play every level through. There's no sense on it. Anybody can go online and get emulators and the ROMs and play it themselves and enjoy it. I'm not going to tell you where to get them or how to get them. Uh, that's what Google's for nowadays. Here we have more of those little beaten kids. Yeah, they were the load their mom should have swallowed when they were little. Guess I shouldn't have said that, but I said it anyway. Alright, let's keep on going. Next part of the stage. Like I said, this is kind of like a restaurant. Glowing acorns fill your energy. They're jumping over these little horse flies. Okay, one fly can be your friend, but clean restaurant. And I just killed myself. Nobody saw that. He turned invisible. Alright, continuing on. Uh, speaking of that, here's a one-up. You get so many flowers or stars, and I did it again. Obviously, I didn't need to enjoy my one-up. As I said, it's been a while. I don't have the timing down, but we'll throw a bomb at that uh, guy and see if we can keep going. All right. Pepper. I have played this game, like I said, when I was little. I owned it, played the crap out of this game, beat it over and over and over. To this day, I still don't know what the little pepper bottle is for. If anybody knows and you have a legitimate answer, let me know. I've even looked at game frequently asked questions and looked at everything and nobody seems to have an answer for what it's for I even saw one of them they said email in if you know what it's for alright next boss spaceship it's got a little Simpson copy as you can see there I knocked myself silly and I didn't take any damage but for some reason I'm not doing too good on this one but I just jump through here try not to get hit he's gonna come down here near us in a minute no he's staying up top alright pretty easy uh, usually he comes down low and he'll fly through. Bonus stage again. Maybe I can earn back that one up that I lost. That was kind of embarrassing. There we go. Never can get that last one. Here we have Gadget, the mouse that's in the show. She said, I see some tough looking characters. For some reason, Fat Cat's got her building stuff now, but who knows. We gotta go to Zone D anyway. Why would we go to Zone D? Uh, well, that's kind of surprising. Watch out for falling iron balls. Uh, yeah, I guess if somebody had iron balls and they were tossing them at me, I'd get kind of scared, too. All right, we skipped A and C, so we're going to go straight to D. I mean, there's no sense, but we'll pick that up next time on Episode 2. So, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody has a great day, and let me know what you think. Have a good one. This is SKS signing off.